she's back. <laughs> you look awful. Did you get fired or something? Tell me that deal was not your idea. Tell me that you did not pressure them to fire me. I had to. Oh, come on, Taya. I, I would do anything for you. You have to know that by now. What did you offer them? I, I gave them a choice. I, I told them that if they fire you, I'll back off both. And if they didn't fire you, then I wouldn't back off both. What a sweet deal. Do you have any idea how hard that was for me? For you. All right. I hate him. Oh. I hate him. I, I want to light his hair on fire and put it out with a pickaxe. Bo. Yeah, Bo. I want him to burn for everything that he did to me and everything that he did to Georgie Phillips. But... I'd let it all go, Dan. I'd let it all go for you. Ask you to give up your work for me. No, don't, don't, don't lecture. No, I want to understand, so you answer me. Did I even suggest that you drop the campaign against Bo? Would I ever do that? You didn't have to. I know what you wanted, and so I did it, and it was over like that, and now you can come back, because the fight's over. Are you forcing me to come home? No, I... You have a choice. Oh, I have a choice. Oh, and what choice is that? Sacrifice Bo so I can have the job that I want? No, look, you, you don't understand. See, if I back off Bo, that's, that's good for him. That's good for everybody. Everybody wins. All right, look, maybe I did force your hand a little bit. But so what? Okay, fine. You, look, I back off... And Nora doesn't need you around so much, so, so there's not really a job there for you to do. So in the long run, you, you didn't miss anything. And, and now you can devote your time to helping some poor slob who didn't happen to hit anybody in the head with a bat. You think it won't hurt as much if you say you love me while you take away every other part of my life except being your wife? I'm not taking anything away from you. My freedom, my dignity, my independence. Shall I go on, Why is this so hard for you to understand? hard for me to... You know, I knew you were a total mess going into this. A hopeless jumble of emotions. I knew that. But I saw something there that I wanted. I really, really wanted it, Todd. And I thought it was there just for the two of us. But as it turns out... It turns out what? As it turns out, if I want this, I have to walk across a burning lake to get it. I have to die to get what I want. I, I don't want to die. I need to save myself. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. So, so we do all that together, all that burning lake stuff, and the, we won't... We can save each other. You said I have a choice. Well, I choose not to let you control my life. I'm not coming back to you, Todd. God knows I would under any other terms. I have in the past. But not this time. And if you need to go and destroy Bo because of it, then you go. Go and do it. I gave you my heart. I let you take away my job. You can't have my soul, too. I'm keeping that. I'm gonna need it. <clears throat> Down the road. Very busy. 
The headline says, and baby makes two murders. Do we roll with that for the evening edition? Because the press room's ready. Do you like the headline? No, I do not like that headline. Yeah, me either. Let's stop the press room. Stop it? You mean you don't want to go with that front page? No. You want to hold it for tomorrow's edition? No, I want to pull it, I want to dump it, I, I want to lose it altogether. You have something that makes the commissioner look worse? No. I want to lose the whole cover story. I want to go with a nice story. Something nice. What you're doing to your wife and my husband is no longer acceptable. I'm going to see to it that you're locked in mortal combat with one lawyer or another every single day of the rest of your life until you drop this, your business folds, or you die. I don't really care which. Then I'm going to sue you from the top of your ratty head to the soles of your overpriced shoes. And then I'm going to have them bust you on every single relevant charge in the book. You're going to be so tied up in knots, you'll look like a foul fishing line. You go ahead. Knock yourself out. With pleasure. Because I don't think anything bad's going to happen to me. Taya Delgado would never press charges against me. She loves me too much. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong clan. The cops can't nail you. I sure as hell will. And that's a promise. You don't scare me, Asa. Well, I should. Because I'm going to be on you. Like a bad disease, every minute of every day, till you fall down on your butt and believe me, you will. Are you done? No. Not until I see you rotting away on death row. Then I'm done. Okay. Hey. Hey. I, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll make this quick. It has been officially confirmed that Georgie Phillips was pregnant at the time of her death. As a result, there has been a full battery of DNA tests conducted to establish the paternity. The results of which have just come in. And they prove conclusively that the father is Bo Buchanan. Oh, my God. Please, let, let, let me finish. Therefore, there will be a preliminary hearing held this afternoon. And Mr. Buchanan will be charged with murder in the third degree. Your husband knocked up your secretary and then knocked her off. And you're going to give me this no comment stuff? Back off, Todd. Hey, I'm just trying to be a responsible journalist. Going right to the source, trying to get a direct quote. You're just trying to make trouble. You never do your homework. It's a mistake. No, this isn't a mistake. This is science. It's not infallible. Oh, right. The Buchanans are always right. You don't need science to make sure that you're pure and that you're innocent. You just, you just throw your money around, you throw your weight around, and then bang, the earth is flat. You don't need science. We will prove that this is a mistake. Fine, you do that. In the meantime, you better stay out of the way, because Bo Buchanan's going down. And I don't want him to fall on your pretty little head. You're about to lose your first big case. Oh, I doubt that. You know, Todd should have gone with his first instinct. And that is to run that story instead of letting some little piece of fluff like you sway his judgment. You don't know. Todd held that story because of you. 